Recently, Elon Musk unveiled another groundbreaking innovation that has startled the entire world. The revolutionary battery will completely transform the EV business. What characteristics does this new battery have? How will it alter the world and how? Join us as we unveil everything there is to know about Elon Musk's wacky battery. Since the Tesla cars first appeared on the market, they have dominated attention. It didn't take long for Musk to surpass Ford and other well-known brands and take the lead in the market. We cannot dispute that his brilliant mind, which constantly comes up with the newest innovations, is the reason for everything that happened. Tesla EVs are, after all, a remarkable invention, but this hasn't stopped Elon Musk from yearning for better innovations and developing new, astounding technologies. This time, he has created a battery that eliminates the need for regular battery replacements. Musk began incorporating manganese into his commonplace lithium-ion batteries to address this problem. At the Tesla Gigafactory in Berlin, Elon Musk gave a speech on it. After years of labor, he claimed, he had finally made the decision to investigate the manganese-based catch. He had finally made the decision to investigate the manganese-based cath load for battery chemistry. It's time to switch out the conventional nickel in long-lasting batteries for manganese, since it would be a more effective material. However, this led to yet another query. After Musk announced his replacement, people began to wonder why Musk was passing on graphene. Many professionals believe that graphene offers significantly more advantages than manganese. First off, it reduces battery replacement and extends the car's range. Additionally, manganese is not as common on Earth as this mineral, such that finding it won't be difficult for the company. Carbon, which is present almost everywhere, is the primary compound of graphene and graphite. Elon Musk is quite dubious about it, though. He continues to oppose using graphene in the batteries like the majority of automakers. Why would Elon Musk deny utilizing graphene since it is so common on Earth? This has a pretty straightforward solution. Exploring the materials is only one step in creating a car or a battery. The elements must also be processed. The process for making batteries out of graphene is extremely intricate. It follows that far more would be needed to process the battery than would be possible by mining manganese. Musk won't be able to match the pricing of EVs in the long run if he takes this action. Therefore, graphene is not a viable option for Tesla since Musk needs a simpler mechanism to function. For vehicles with a longer range, Musk has decided to manufacture nickel-based chemistries. He intended to use ion phosphate chemistries for short-range vehicles, but alas, this is also not a long-term procedure. The minerals utilized in these do not enable them to reduce the price of electric automobiles by $5,500. Battery prices are a huge issue for nickel, for instance. The cost of an EV's battery is significant, and in most cases, the higher prices scare away prospective buyers. Due to its rarity, it is also difficult to employ this element. Musk intended to manufacture the batteries on a huge scale. He reveals that the business had anticipated eventually manufacturing hundreds of millions of tons while he was speaking at the Berlin factory. In order to manufacture the batteries on a huge scale, they will require a lot of material. The basic material used to carry this out should be widely available. Musk added that they could only envision the use of nickel-based batteries in the future, but Tesla's batteries had been sourced from the latter. Why manganese? Elon Musk also suggested that the easiest approach to solve the issue would be to concentrate more on the supply chain's minerals for batteries. They only have manganese as a better alternative in this situation. Like every other corporation, Tesla has expertise working with manganese. They have been utilizing it for a while. Because of how well received it was, they are now unable to discount its potential. The business discovered that manganese was a lot simpler to work with when it started using it. It would enable Tesla to produce more batteries for the same amount of nickel. Overall, the process is simpler. Musk also mentioned how simple it is to carry out this operation. It is simpler to work with a cathode that is two-thirds nickel and one-third manganese when working with Musk. With the same amount of nickel, the user may create 50% greater cell volume. When used with nickel and other iron-based chemistries, the mineral will provide an even better solution. That is simply untrue. 
More information regarding manganese exists than you might be aware of. Manganese has been the subject of various forms of studies. They have all reported quite encouraging outcomes. According to them, the increased energy density of the nickel and iron phosphate combination can only be unlocked by using a manganese-rich cathode. Additionally, the cost will be cut in half. Due to this amazing component, Tesla can now anticipate decreasing the price of the 5,500 by half. Tesla, though, hasn't stopped there. Musk will take whatever steps are necessary to lower the price of batteries. He has created yet another innovation that will bring down the price of batteries even more. Driving an electric vehicle, EV, can be challenging at times, especially if you're unsure of how to charge it or how long it will take. A win-win for Tesla is producing the battery that might resolve both of these problems. To ensure that Tesla succeeds, they can combine manganese with dry coating technology. But what exactly is dry coating? The primary objective of this technology is to make Tesla automobiles more affordable. Most experts agree that the EV firm has only reduced the price of the vehicles by about $2,000. For its 4680 batteries, Tesla intends to save only half of that amount. Tesla intends to further reduce this cost with dry coating technology. Elon Musk is thrilled about this procedure, but he has characterized the technological innovations as both groundbreaking and challenging. However, Tesla is still ill-equipped to handle the dry coating procedure on its own. They took it from Maxwell Technology for this reason. Extra capacitators are sold by Maxwell, a business with headquarters in San Diego. The energy is stored for devices that require a fast burst of energy. But if Tesla wants to produce 4680 dry cells, they will still need to invest a sizable $200 million. This technology allows the business to abandon the expensive and labor-intensive online method. Wet coating requires a lot of time, equipment, space, and electricity, it has been discovered. It also uses a lot of harmful substances. While these materials are recycled and recovered by the companies, it comes at a significant additional cost. Tesla had switched to the dry coating method for this reason. It omits the conventional approach that eliminates the chemical slurring process. According to Tesla's analysis, if the world is to fully transition to sustainability, it will need to produce 300 terawatt hours of battery cells. Therefore, everyone is making an effort to make this a reality. Musk claimed that Tesla can easily make 100 gigawatt hours of 4680 batteries each year using this technology. Additionally, it may generate enough electricity to run 1.3 million cars. Through this, Tesla intends to build about 1.4 million cars annually. But it's not as simple as it seems. Musk has acknowledged that carrying out this mission will be quite difficult. Scaling the production and obtaining exceptionally high dependability, according to Musk, would be very challenging parts of putting this approach into practice. The challenge is mass producing these batteries since Tesla lacks the machinery to make the batteries. Even if they are successful in obtaining the necessary equipment, it can be further tuned before it begins to function. Musk appears to have already streamlined his time frame, though. By 2023, he intends to have these cells. It will undoubtedly produce the most effective automobile battery ever. Another issue is that Maxwell does not create the thicker, larger volume batteries that Musk demands. To power the models, Tesla requires 4,400 of its older technology cells. Although there are many difficulties in carrying out this procedure, and there will be thousands more, Musk has never shied away from them. Every time, he has offered a better answer to the issue at hand. EV cars will soon be affordable for all if Musk can overcome all these obstacles and create this new battery on a wider scale. The other manufacturers will lag considerably behind Tesla when it comes to having vehicles on the road.